everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got another meal prep video for you today, and again, we are keeping it relatively low carb. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. The first one that I'm starting off with is a carrot and lentil soup. Now overall this took me about two hours to prep all these, so take a stove and pop it on medium heat and we're going to use a pot for this and first cut up one onion and take about four to six cloves of garlic. We're going to put them into the pot with some avocado oil or some olive oil and then you're going to allow them to cook until they're fragrant before you add anything else in. Now I'm adding in a whole container of vegetable stock. You could of course use water if you wanted to use water. I wanted the extra flavor in this one and I'm adding two cups of red lentils as well. Then I'm gonna cut up two carrots. And we're adding those in as well as some chili flakes. Add as much or as little as you like and then I'm adding in the juice of half a lemon as well. And allow this dish to cook for around 45 minutes, just stir it every now and again, and that's all it takes. Now I'm making some chai chia seed pudding. I am loving these so much as a snack. I made them two different ways, so that one of them is slightly lower carb for me, the other one Bo can have. So we've got some organic coconut syrup, coconut milk, chia seeds, chai tea spice, and golden walnuts. I just took six containers and then I'm putting a third of a can of coconut milk in each container. I added about two and a half teaspoons of chia seeds to each mix. I added the two here and then I come back and add a little bit later. And right now I'm also adding in the chai tea flavoring and just about a handful of walnuts as well. If you do want it a little bit sweeter, this is an optional thing you can do, but it will add to the carbohydrate level. It's adding in some coconut syrup. You could add any sort of liquid sweetener. I kept mine normal and they tasted absolutely fine. The other version will just be sweeter. Now I'm going to start roasting some almonds. So I'm just popping my oven onto 170 Celsius, which is about 340 Fahrenheit. I lined a baking tray and then I'm filling that up with almonds. Who would have thought? Adding in some chili flakes. The juice of one lime, I just sliced it in half and then just juiced it myself. If you want, go to the effort of using an actual thing to juice it so you don't get any seeds anywhere. I'm using a smoked salt flakes, which is like charcoal and olive flavor. Himalayan salt would work just fine as well. Then I'm adding in a gluten-free soy sauce and some lime leaves. These will only take 15 minutes in the oven, but make sure you mix them around about halfway through. Then I'm boiling some eggs just to have on hand as like a snack or something like that. Do however many eggs you want and I feel like I don't need to explain how to boil eggs. Now I'm also making a beef stir fry, so I made some pretty big portions for this one because it would be a lunch. I tend to have a smaller dinner than I do have a lunch. Um, taking a pan, adding some olive oil and some beef. I used about a kilo because these are for Bo too, they're not just for me. And then also a whole large packet of stir fry vegetables, just frozen veg are fine. And then I'm adding three to four tablespoons of natural peanut butter. And then I'm also gonna add some liquid aminos as well because I find it gives it a little bit of a saute kind of flavor. This is optional, but you can add in some peanuts. The almonds were done now, so I just put them in two separate containers. And I'm turning the heat of the oven up to 190C, around 380 Fahrenheit. Taking some chicken, just one fillet per serving. 
optional again is some cashews but I like to always add in extra fats to my meals I'm also cutting up I ended up using two lemons for this because I had a few pieces of chicken there putting some chili powder on the chicken and then I'm gonna press the lemons on top before I put it in the oven so they ended up needing to cook for around 30 minutes Now I'm making this kale and carrot frittata as well. Frittatas are just a super easy option to have and you can keep them pretty low carb as well. So I grabbed some kale and then I grated up a carrot and I also sliced up a zucchini. Roughly two to three eggs per serving and of course you can omit the yolks if you want to change the fat content. And it takes about 15 minutes to cook and then you can serve them up. This pan is so beaten up, but anyway, I'm just cooking two fillets of salmon to put with some frozen vegetables because I like to have some salmon throughout the week. The beef stir fry was ready as well now, so taking that off and the chicken was ready to come out of the oven as well. So with the chicken, I'm just grabbing some more frozen vegetables. So I grabbed peas and broccoli just to serve that with. For the salmon, I'm just grabbing some frozen corn and peas to put with that, and that way they'll get cooked when I have to reheat up the meal. And that's it, two hours worth of food, and it will last us around three-ish days, maybe a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time, bye.